guys, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I'm in the bathroom. So, don't worry about all that. Mind your business. But anywho, I have made me a wig, a unit, from the hair that I had um, reviewed. Well, I didn't really review it for you. I just did an unboxing, show and tell type of thing from AliExpress that I showed you the bundles I had. So right now in my head, I have 24, 22, 8, um, 20, uh, back up. 24, 22, 20, and 18. I have a little bit over four bundles though because I'm like once I got to the tip top right here, I was running out of hair. So I had to go open one of my other bundles that I had stashed away for something else. But this is Peruvian, probably kinky curly. You can see that texture. It's yeah. You don't mind me, but it's like almost like 12 o'clock and I'm just about to do it. Well, I didn't just get to doing this, but um, I mean, this did this and now I've been doing pictures for Instagram and little clips of videos. But this is what it looks like in the back. Tomorrow I'm going to sew in some combs. So when I put it on, I don't have to worry about it. It's moving. And I could just adjust it which way I want to adjust it to that way or adjust it this way. More in the front, however. Um, I didn't necessarily do Ivy's Powell's flip over method thing. I did it my way. So, yeah. Um, I did it with a hot glue gun. Because, you know, I don't have time to be sewing all them tracks. I just don't, you guys. That's what that looks like. I am loving this, honestly. It is like the bomb.com. So, just check out that. I'm definitely not going to dye this hair at all. Um, I haven't even co washed it yet, I just put it in. But that's why I did the glue gun method because you can wash it because the glue is waterproof. You see I'm rubbing my fingers through it. And as you know, curly hair does shed. And I've been getting some shedding. Which just don't matter to me because the hair is super full. And I know it's not going to thin out by a long shot. So, I'm not even worried about that. But you see I'm pulling, taking my hands through it. I couldn't do that really at first because there's was some resistance. But um, I did spray pink glosser on there from Lusters. And like, like I told you, it's like the best stuff for virgin hair, real hair, like your own natural hair, synthetic hair, whatever. It's amazing. So you definitely need to go try that out. But um, yes, this hair is it, baby. So I will do more on this later on. I just came to show you what it looks like. I may do a video tomorrow of me sitting down like in front of my setup and you can see everything good like basically you do see that now I want to apply this you know this looks like this looks like the Logs Mogan times 10 more beautiful because it's virgin hair and it's like kinky curly pretty hair but yeah the style is like how you with my Logs Mogan all the time this is what that looks like. But yeah, um, I have pictures I took tonight for Instagram. So I think I'm going to actually do make a video just to show you. So stay tuned for that. Hope you like. I love it. It looks beautiful. It feels beautiful. I think it's going to be one of my favorite go-to wigs as well. When I don't want to do my hair because I'm actually I'm just keeping my leaving my hair long right now. I got it braided underneath there. Um, here's my braid right here. Yeah, just got it braided down. Yeah, I'm natural as you know, so it was not hard for me to blend my hair at all. On that, I put a little gel on there, brush it through it, then brush it back to blend it in, and that is it. So, yeah, they go around. Yeah, I can see them. He's so nosy. <laughs> but yeah, that's it you guys. So 
I'll talk to y'all later. I'll make a, a good video for you, but you can see everything in depth. And, um, I'm just happy. I did it for the first time, the little flip over method. It's like a full wig. I got little everything up going horseshoe. Got right here. Did everything going backwards. And, you know, everything came out great, you guys. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.